We're going to start off taking a look at the weather pattern we'll be dealing with through the rest of this week. So we have this upper level low that's sitting off the northeast coast. This low is actually going to kind of retrograde back to the west a little bit and then move back out to the east. But it doesn't move much, and that's the key this week. We've got that low that's going to keep our upper level flow coming down out of the north northwest. It's actually not affecting temperatures as much as it would say if it was two months ago because we have the higher sun angle this time of year so it's still looking fairly seasonable and we're not really busy with wet weather either until possibly this weekend the pattern starts breaking down by friday that upper level low starts to move away we'll be watching for a disturbance coming down from the great lakes and then this could potentially lead to a coastal storm over the upcoming weekend so that'll be the next big thing to keep an eye on but for the rest of this week we're just talking really seasonal seasonable temperatures and a healthy breeze. Temperatures each day kind of bouncing around the lower to middle 40s, except for tomorrow, a little chilly with highs in the 30s, but a lot of low 40s even into early next week, and that's pretty much average for this time of year. The temperature outlook across the country, which takes us from March 14th to March 20th, so you know, through the mid to late part of the month. We've got uh, some, you know, bubbles of likely colder than normal air across the southeast, across the west. For us, we're leaning in a colder than normal direction, not necessarily a complete lock. Now, as far as wet weather goes, it looks like the west coast is going to be dealing with more storminess. And then the southeastern U.S. is finally going to get some rain, especially Florida, which, believe it or not, has some pretty healthy drought status right now. For us, it looks like we're going to stay close to normal weather-wise. So it all depends on what kind of systems develop where they track like this one for instance we're watching it come across the great lakes right now it's got a lot of moisture to it my goodness so you can see really some heavy returns around cleveland right now but this clipper system is actually going to be passing off to our south tonight so it is going to miss us bringing us some cloud cover overnight but no wet weather breezes lighten up a little bit but we do keep a breeze through tomorrow morning we go through our tuesday we'll have a mix of sunshine and clouds in the morning maybe a little cloudier in the afternoon low risk for some flurries in the berkshires but it it is so dry that I'm not convinced it's actually going to make it to the ground, but it will be blustery and that is going to definitely add a chill tomorrow feeling a little bit more like February. Now we're still dealing with that wind and that's still going to be producing the cloud cover for Wednesday. You can see some rain and snow showers out along the coast, but we keep our dry weather and occasionally wind could gust 20, 25 miles an hour all the way out through Thursday. Temperatures coolest tomorrow for the week, some upper 20s to mid 30s and then Wednesday we're back to more seasonable weather, mid 30s in the hills to mid 40s in the valley with breezes out of the north. Now looking at the 10 day forecast, we will start seeing the pattern break up Friday, more sunshine, less wind. We're watching for that potential coastal storm on Saturday, which looks like it would bring more of a wintry mix, could, but could still be impactful. Saturday night, we spring forward and then Sunday, partly cloudy and blustery. Watching another little system for Tuesday into Wednesday, along with some cooler temperatures. Chris, back to you. Jennifer.